Hello everybody and thank you for watching my video. If you like it, just give us a thumbs up and help us out. Thanks for that. Alright, anyways, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you a very brief overview of uh, how this system works. Alright, this first, uh, first one here is the sequencer. Um, that's pretty, that's what I call it anyway. Um, it, w because it sequences our input, so we give an input and it sequences our inputs as we give them into the correct order. And they come out here in the correct order and are stored in these cells. What happens is, uh, after the sequencer we just have a simple encoder which codes it into binary. Uh, so, yeah, that's all this one here is doing, is coding our input into binary so that we can use the binary later on down the track. Um, so yeah, we got our five binary outputs here, and we travel along down to the back here. And our binary outputs go into this uh, shifter and uh, this also lives up to its name because it literally it just shifts the answers so we give our first binary input it stores that information in this first module and when we give it another input it uh, shifts the information from this module to this one and then it's ready to store the next uh, lot of information so that's pretty much all they're doing and it just does the same thing all the way up until the end there. And this is just a bit of plain old redstone busing here. And then uh and then underneath this is where we reuse our binary and decode it back into um, something that our uh, display processors can use. Alright? So once we decode our binary back into uh, the information our display process processes can use. We then transfer that information down to our piston display. So that's all it is. We're just using pistons to to create the letters on the screen. And yeah, well that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. This is exactly the same thing on on all eight of these. There's eight of them all up. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Didn't take me very long to build this at all. So yeah, that's something out there. Alright everyone, thank you for watching my video and uh, catch you around.